The UAE is home to more than 150 nationalities and the numbers are rising. With more people coming into the country from across the globe, visiting or working and living here, understanding the Emirati culture as well as Islam has become more important than ever. According to Mind Body Dynamics in Dubai, cultural immersion is the way forward. It holds the key to thriving in an exciting and diverse environment such as the Emirates. Khadija Sali reports. Expatriates working and living in the UAE still account for a majority of the population. Many have already taken up residence here, started their own businesses and raised families. While there are those who have successfully embraced the culture, many are still finding it a challenge. Ama Loring Abriton has the same story when she first came here 15 years ago. I hadn't asked the right people, more importantly. Then I thought, well, there's not a, a central place or a person for you to go and say, well... What does that mean? Why do women, for example, why do women wear black? Why do men wear uh, white? In the last two and a half years, I've been working in a local uh, mosque as a volunteer there, where we receive about a thousand visitors a week. And it's always very interesting because the questions they ask are the questions that I had, but I had no one to ask. Formerly known as Debbie Beck, she converted to Islam in 2007 and specialized in Islamic studies. In 2008, she married an Emirati and fully embraced the culture and religion. Three years ago, she started offering cross-cultural discussions that dispel religious and cultural misunderstandings. One of the things that I offer organizations is a uh, dine and discuss. So I set out, I prepare a uh, meal, not myself individually, but there's a meal that's prepared. People uh, sit down in traditional Emirati style on the floor. Uh, we go through the, the uh, coffee uh, re uh, routines, how, uh, how and why Muslims eat with their right hand. And then one, once everybody's comfortable, then there's an open forum. And I have a, a number of uh, Emiratis uh, that I work with, that uh, part of my, uh, my organisation consultancy, that come in and we basically field questions from why do women wear black, uh, through to uh, the uh, impact of globalization, through to uh, the 167 nationalities here. Since then, in addition to being a professional counselor, she's been welcoming and helping individuals, groups and organizations better understand Emiratis. She says having basic knowledge of the Arabic language, for instance, is a good start. If we look at Emiratization, uh, get about getting uh, Emiratis, uh, into the workplace, it's becoming even more important to understand how individuals tick, um, how important their culture uh, is to them, how by having an understanding it will benefit one as an individual and make one more productive in the workplace, avoiding embarrassing situations. Family is very important uh, here. If there's a family emergency, then a business meeting will be stopped. If, for example, there was family emergency in, in you know, the UK, it would be odd that somebody didn't turn up for a meeting or was late or uh, postponed. From the proper way of dressing to shaking hands or the lack of eye contact to punctuality, religion and others, she says the questions and concerns are common, equally important and diverse. Preserving the Emirati's identity, culture and traditions has always been a high priority in the country for the public and private sectors. Mosques and cultural centers are among those that provide opportunities to bridge cultural gap. And unlike more than a decade ago, cultural immersion is much simpler nowadays. In fact, all one has to do is ask. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.